Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vlogra. And today we're going to be blasting rotted pestilent tomb. But no, seriously, we're going to be blasting Kansas rotted pestilent tomb. Amazing one man death metal on Head Split Records. Rotting death metal. Just absolutely amazing stuff from the mind of Dylan Jones. Dylan's a fucking man. And yeah, he knows how to write some fucking kick ass, disgustingly vile death metal. And the fact that this is all coming from one person, it's just like, wow. Hell yeah, Dylan and. Get into rotted. They fucking roll. Pestilent tomb. I forget who put out the CD. I apologize, but um, there is a CD version available. Somebody please put this out on wax. It deserves it. And snag oxygen destroyer while you're at it on vinyl. That would be great. But the day has finally arrived, and not the LPs yet, but. One of my favorite death metal records ever came on cassette via the mighty Extremely Rotten Productions. And this sounds so fucking good. And I am talking about Demilich Nispeth. What the fuck? Where do I even start here besides... Anti Bowman sounds like a straight up monster from some slime filled fourth dimensional hole inside of his lower intestinal. Just, I have no idea how he hits the notes that he does. It, it's just so sick. And as a fan of like just guttural vocals and whatnot, like I just remember being a little kid and just like practicing trying to sound like Chris Barnes and shit but like when I first heard this album I was like dude it sounds like he has a fucking sewer in his throat and it was like one of the first bands that I heard that had like you know straight up like guttural vocals throughout the whole thing that wasn't you know rooted in New York death metal and stuff like Pyrexia for example and even like Broken Hope and shit like I look at bands like that in their early careers where like most of the vocals are all like <laughs> I, I really like that stuff you know and then like even early suffocation like on Effigy and like Human Waste Frank's voice is so deep you know it's just like Do it me. but like Nothing compares to Auntie's vocals on Nespeth. Seriously, Demilich is just one of the absolute most amazing Finnish death metal bands ever. And this 1993 gem has finally gotten, you know, back into the limelight like, once more. This is like the third time that this album has caught death metal maniacs ears once more i think the first time was like around 1998 was when there was you know a lot more interest in this record and whatnot and also if you look at some of the death metal releases around that time period you'll see why a lot of people were going back to days of old and finding you know convulse and like re-listening to that type of stuff like going back to the abhorrent seven inch and whatnot like killer killer stuff from finland and forget sweden punishing techno death grind with original vocals from finland's premier death metal outfit they the debut album from finland's demilich Originally released in 1993 by Necropolis Records, re-released in 1996 by Repulsive Records, and then re-released in 2009 by Extreme Music, and now once more, 2018's getting a reissue from Svart, 
which I'm waiting on the LP version of this along with the um, demo comp, which now has a new name, which I have no idea how to even... <laughs> it has like numbers in it instead of like an E, it's like a three. I don't know if it's a typo, but it's fucking sick. Like, but knowing a little bit about Demi Lich, like it might be on purpose and whatnot because you know, when you have a song title that's just called the planet that once used to absorb flesh in order to achieve divinity and immortality, parentheses, suffocated to the flesh that it desired. So fucking good. Seriously, Anti is just one of my favorite vocalists, and he just also fucking slays his guitar. Just one of those dudes that, in my opinion, is so talented musically, and is one of the nicest guys that you're going to meet in extreme music. If you ever are lucky enough to see Demi Lich live, fucking go up to Annie and say, Yo, dude, I love your music, love your vocals, love your band. Fuck yeah. Like, he's a sick guy. Like, I started talking to him on Facebook, and, like, you know, he's seriously one of the nicest, like, people I've met in the extreme music underground that I consider a legend and this record right here well because this tape right here it is a record but you get 39 plus minutes of just absolute insanity everything about this is so fucking sick you get 11 tracks one instrumental and it's just amazing and extremely rotten did such a good job with this. First off, this is a killer fucking tape. Just heavy duty, awesome art and whatnot. I don't know how well you guys can see the skulls and stuff. With one of the older school, like, old English Demi Lich logos. It's just fucking sick. Everything about this release, it, it's fucking great. Like, seriously. They did such a good job with the production on here. It's loud. It's fuck. It just. It hits so hard, and I love it. And it just it. It's old school as fuck. Like I seriously feel like I went back in time to 1993 when I opened my mailbox yesterday and was just going through all this gnarly stuff that Extremely Rotten always sends along with shit, and it just reminded me that you know like yo there's some people that like weren't really like I'm not gonna lie I definitely had to do the old-fashioned mail order shit like twice where you had to like check you know you would get like a piece of you would get like a mail order form like let's say this was a mail order form but like down here would be like you know your you're like addressing shit and you would like put a check mark next to like the album you wanted and stuff you'd send the money and you might get what you paid for and you might get nothing but there was nothing you could do back then it wasn't like you could make a paypal dispute or anything like that but you know i remember like just being when i was in a band all about like you know making things as old school as possible even though the band I was in, you know, as much as we all were into that style of like, you know, doing things DIY and I wish I had some examples to show you of just like some of the art I did just for like our demos and stuff that I just drew up and whatnot and some show flyers and shit because I tried to keep my old band as DIY and old school as possible. And I remember hearing this album and just trying to imitate Auntie's vocals and whatnot. And I know I'm, you know, focusing a lot on the vocals on here, but everything about Nespeth fucking rules. And everything about Demi Lich rules. And I'm gonna butcher everyone else's name because I speak terrible Finnish. I speak no Finnish, but I mean, I can at least say Anti Bowman, because I've said the name so many times. But you have Akai 
Harold Tain on guitar as well as Vili Kosian on bass and Miko Varins on drums. And this was recorded December 25th through the 31st in 1992. And the artworks by the Mighty Chaos Graphics, which is Turka G. Rantanen, who's done a lot of artwork that I love. I just love his style. He did the new Galvanizer artwork, if I'm correct. And you can just tell his, like, slimy, just fucking fourth dimensional style from, like, a mile away. And I just love the artwork here as well, because to me, it just, like, reminds me of, like, you know that video game uh, Slaughterhouse or Splatterhouse? I forget what it was called, but, like, this reminds me of, like, some TurboGrafx-16, like, early 90s video game artwork. And that's sick. Like, it's exactly what I would want an album that's this sickening to fucking sound like because it's so goddamn good. Everything about this just fucking rules. And if you've never heard it, I, I don't know what to tell you, but seriously... Forget Sweden, Finnish death metal is where it's at, fucking, as, like, sick as the vocals are, the guitars are just brutal as hell, technical, yet memorable, the drumming's vicious, and this is just a total classic from 1993, in every way, shape, and form, like, there's so many bands that just copied Demi Lich's whole entire aesthetic and whatnot, and mixed it with America's Time Ghoul to help create Demi Ghoul bands and whatnot, who I feel like Kafilis do pretty fucking, you know, airtight. Like, the guy that does vocals for Kafilis, in my opinion, he's right up there with Anti when it comes to that, like, insane vocal style that not many people can emulate. Like, uh, I forget what track it is, but on, uh, this one Kefilis track, he straight up sounds like fucking Predator. Like, he just hits that, like, you know, noise the Predator makes, and it sounds so sick. And there's no vocal effects on here, there's no vocal effects on the Kefilis record. And again, to me, that's important when it comes to a record that's, you know, as classic as this, but yet as underground as this. And I think it's great that these guys are back together and touring again with some of the best death metal bands in existence right now. I think that's fucking rad. Because this is like one of the more definitive death metal records from Finland and just in general. And if you disagree, I don't know what to really tell you because this might not be your style of music. Like, yes, it's technical, but yes, at the same time, it's brutal and memorable. It's just fucking sick. And like the lyrics are very well thought out and written. I mean, if you get the tape version, you do not get the lyrics. But they should be included in the LP version or if you have the originals and whatnot. But like, just the fact that the band's back together, I got to see them live with fucking Blood Incantation, Scorch, and Artificial Brain. That's fucking great. And th this is up there if you know, when it comes to Finnish death metal with, like, the first Amorphous record, Convulse, the Abhorrent 7-inch, like, De Demigod. This is so fucking good. Demilich, Nespeth, the cassette on Extremely Rotten Productions, and the LPs coming on Svart Recordings. If you did not snag this, seriously, grab a copy or... I don't you're just gonna be bummed out and probably be paying $45 for a cassette and you don't want that to happen but my favorite track on here probably has to be the echo replacement but also just like inherited bow levitation reduced without any effort just a totally sick song but if you like death metal and you like 90s old school death metal. And let's say you're a fan of like Blood Incantation and Kefilis. Get into some Demi Lich. Nespeth. Fucking A. 10 out of 10. And we've been blasting Rotted Pestilent Tomb. Thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. 
Hills. <laughs>